fun. A reality show never happening about, you know, newlyweds or just married life. Like, what is that? Like, is it a no from you? Is it a no from her? Is it a unified, like, no from both of us? Or is one of you more anti this idea? I think we're both very much a no on a hard no on that. I mean, like, listen, I think that there has to be like a little bit of privacy that we get to enjoy. And so we, because we do open ourselves up per, a lot. Um, I mean, on social media for one, but like, like I said, like I am, a, I am me on TV and actually now she's that she's doing Love Island. She is her on TV. And so I, at some, you have to, you have to keep like a little bit of, um, of ourselves to ourselves, if that makes sense. And I think that would be just too much for us. Did you, what advice did you give Sarah on Love Island? I mean, you are a pro uh, at this. Yeah, I didn't give her. Oh, well, I. <sighs> what did I say? Um, I did say, like, unfortunately, you're going to have, um, you're going to feel a certain way about certain people. You're going to love some people and you're not going to like some people because some people are going to make, you know, bad decisions. And if you ever are in a situation like I'm always in in paradise where you're talking to everybody, um, you have to always go into those conversations unbiased and remember that like everyone's fighting a hard battle and you you need to come at it from the side of compassion and not from a, a personal, you know, feeling of things and because it's and it's funny because sarah watches you know bachelor and bachelorette and, and bachelor in paradise and she will be like I can't, no, that person now they're so mean i don't like them and i have to be like you can't you can't feel that way because you don't know what they're going through and it's so funny how the roles reversed when we started watching her season of love island and I was like, I don't like that guy. And she's like, you can't do, you told me you can't do that. You need to wait for, he's the nice guy, you know, like, uh, so it's funny. It's like come full circle for us. That is funny. I mean, that is good advice. Like that's literally exactly what like Nick Lachey and or Nick and Vanessa are going through now with like, yeah. love is blind. You know, there are all these criticisms. There's like this change.org petition saying like, yeah. move them as hosts where do you fall on this controversy that swept our nation? <laughs> yes. These are the big hard swept hitting our, questions. Swept our reality TV nation. Yeah, I saw the um I saw the after show and listen, like I said, she got too emotionally invested in something. And and that's a good thing as someone who is helping make a show. Because if you don't care, then it doesn't matter. Um, but as a host of a show, you need to remember kind of like the basics of journalism 101 and uh, journalism ethics, which is you have to come at every story um, un unbiasedly because the second that you don't come at it unbiasedly, then it's an, it's an opinion piece. And that's not fair for everyone um, also, you know, on that panel making that show and so I, I think she probably learned a, a pretty good lesson of you, you really need to come at it from a, one, a place of compassion. And I think she was trying to do that. I think she was trying to be compassionate for um, the woman and she was kind of upset with like how the guy handled it. Um, but then also, you know, that guy's, you don't know that guy's journey. Um, that was tough. It's tough for everybody. You've probably never been in a situation where you met somebody where you couldn't see their face for the first six weeks of it and then got thrust into this relationship and then wanted to get married. Like it's a it's a crazy situation in general. Um, you know, it was like last season when she kind of came at that one guy who was who was pretty terrible. I forget his name. Yeah. Um, and and I think she was applauded for it. So I think that that she was like, Oh, this is great. This is this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to defend, you know. I'm the defend the, you know, the defenseless. And then this time it just didn't work as well, but I think she'll learn from this and we'll continue to kick ass going forward. You do. You think her and Nick will be back? Cause there is all this talk that this may be I, it. I, <laughs> you can have a petition all you like, but there are things like contracts that like are, are pretty hard to break and um, generally will probably be more expensive than um, 
than finding new people. So I, yeah, I would doubt that highly, but, and I also don't know if that's a fireable offense. I mean, she was just being passionate about a thing that she hosts. And I think that is a good thing to be if you are in that position. I just think that you need to internalize kind of being mad at somebody and just ask questions and let them and I learned this a long time ago. It's very easy to let someone else dig their own grave if you ask the right questions. Absolutely. I I agree with you. I don't think they're going anywhere. But if yeah. there was this replacement, I mean, you know, on Love is Blind, you know, you have the experience. Now Sarah has the experience. You're another married couple. Would you be interested with Sarah and hosting Love is Blind? Uh, I don't like going after people's jobs. Uh, that's not my gig. Um. I would love to, like, I will say this, I would love to do a show with Sarah one day. Um, and especially like in the relationship space, because we are in a relationship. Um, and I actually, and we have such a very strong and healthy relationship that I actually do think that we could do a lot of good for a show like that, or like Paradise or Love Island, where people are truly, if they are being honest with themselves and really looking for a forever person, then it makes sense to talk to two people who have found their forever people. So yeah, one day I think we'll do, um, we'll do a show like that and it'll be, it'll be very fun. And then you'll also get to see like that. That'll be your, like your, your, the show that you were asking, like if a Kardashian show or whatever, that'll be the, your look into like our weirdness because I'm a lot weirder than I think people think I am. And Sarah's a lot goofier than she is. And all of a sudden there'll be a lot of interviews of us just uh, probably being weird and it'll probably be, great TV. I am, let's just put that out into the universe. I am all for it. What about, you know, the real housewives of Beverly Hills? You know, we've had Lisa Rinna, we have other actresses. Like what if, you know, one day the phone rang and you and Sarah were sitting there having breakfast and Sarah's like, hold on. Wells, this is, you know, Andy Cohen or Bravo. And they're actually asking me to join the real housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, I don't like to speak for anybody, uh, especially someone who can so easily kill me in my sleep. So I won't say what if Sarah would ever want to do that. Um, you can ask her yourself. But I, I think that I think that the one reality show that Sarah would do is what she's doing now, which is hosting. Um, and then she needs to she needs to and should continue focusing on her craft, which she is so very, very talented at, which is acting. And she needs to be doing that until uh, you know, the wheels fall off. And I firmly believe that. I'm all for that too. What about, you know, your guys, good friend, Vanessa Hutchins just got, you know, she's going to get married now. What, what advice would you have for her as she heads to plan a wedding and yeah. get married? Uh, good luck. Uh, it's not fun, Vanessa and Cole. Um, my, the, the thing that I learned the most from our wedding is, I understand that pictures are very, very important. And I think I did give her Cole this advice. Pictures are important and you want those pictures um, because they last forever. But you also need, need to remember that like you need to take the pictures in your mind. You need to be able to experience the experience. And there was a time in, in our wedding where we were getting pulled in so many different directions because, you know, they wanted to get all these great pictures. And it, Partially, it was our fault. We had we were going to be on 